So where we left off, this is part two, Ashe, Ashe to the Dark Moon, New Moon, Solar Eclipse Energy Reading. Uh, we left off with just making sure that you're aware to uh, focus on you because this is about you. Uh, this is a time for you to be a warrior about yours, Ashe. This is a time for you to fight for you, to really speak of what your soul, your heart desires, you know. Um, tapping into the feminine energy, uh, taking a look at all of the cards that we have thus far. Uh, her eyes are closed. She's like looking off to the left. Her eyes are closed. She's looking off to the left. His eyes are closed. He's like centered, energetic. So with everything that is also being shown like fruits of your labor, we've been talking about the blooming and the blossoming of things to come, especially through Venus in regards to loving you and loving others and, you know, being more soft and gentle and nurturing and caring to yourself. I also want to remember that, you know, you have grown tremendously. You need to give yourself credit for that. You need to make sure that while you're out and about, you know, loving others and loving nature and loving your ancestors, your Lawaj, your Odisha, your Divine, your Source, Ashe, Ashe, you definitely want to make sure that that same love is being applied to you um, as well. And when you're standing firm and you're standing guard and you're keeping yourself um, suited and booted, you know, you're knowing who you are, you're standing in your truth uh, for the Sagittarius uh, new moon, Ashe, Ashe, you know the truth, you know, you're not hiding from yourself. You're ready to defend your goals, your dreams, your passions, you know, your new ideas, you know, you're, you're ready to fully support them. And while there's a lot of energy coming through, you definitely want to make sure that uh, you know how to move accordingly. You know which way to go. You're allowing your spirit to lead. You know, you're getting your rest, you're doing your recharging, you're asking, you know, for some assistance, you're asking uh, for the power and the, the energy to do what must be done. You're asking for the love and the nurturing and the support to, to give you um, the extra nudges and the, the messages and the codes, the downloads, uh, so you know how uh, and when to move. Ashe, because not everything, even in this season of fire, is going to require your movement. A lot of it will be spent making sure that, you know, you're getting your proper rest. Okay. Huh. And there is that sun energy coming through. Enjoy success and happiness. Ashe, Ashe. So here you have, again, masculine and feminine energy. You have the sun coming uh, right below uh, Venus, Ashe, with all of this earth energy, with all of this green, with all of this love, you know, energy is the dualities, is the balance of it all. You know, you definitely want to make sure that you are celebrating yourself. You are enjoying the labor of your hard work paying off, you know, whether it's big, small, or otherwise. You definitely want to make sure that, you know, you're understanding that you have had the power all along energy and spirit you know fire is nothing but your spirit and this energy source is nothing but a big ball of fire it's energetic it recharges it heals it you know it soothes it warms it comforts you know um the sun is out and it's shining brightly so this is definitely positive energy in regards to once you let everything go and fine tune and make your final decisions and make things concrete you'll know exactly how and when uh, to move. So then we have the two of wands here. Ashe, Ashe. No coincidences that it's falling right below uh, the sacral chakra. Ashe. There's a lot of orangey colors here. You know, so this is definitely in regards to some form of movement. Uh, it came after the sun. So there's a part of you that is like, I'm going to just chill and wait. And then there's a part of you that is like, no, we need to go now. Like, it's pointing you in the right direction. And you're trying to figure out, should you go or should you stay? And the question that you want to ask yourself during this dark moon, new moon energy is, are you holding yourself back? You know, you keep getting all of the, the signals and the, the green lights, all these greens, 
the green lights, you know, to move forward, to actually, you know, get going, explore, travel, journal, you know, do, and you, again, you don't have to actually physically leave, but this could be relocation. This could be, you know, moving overseas, out of state, you know, around the corner and down the street, I say, I say. Um, but you feel as though that, you know, you're waiting for something. And the question that you want to ask is, what is it that you're waiting on? You know, if you're being told to be patient and stand still and stand firm and, you know, don't make any moves, if that's what you're waiting on because you were told and instructed, then I say, I ye boo boo. But if you've been getting the green light and you've been doing absolutely nothing, waiting for the perfect time, that seven, like I said, a lot of sevens have come out. Um, and there's a seven actually right over top of the two of wands on armadillo. If you're waiting for that perfect time, if this isn't telling you that this is the perfect time, like if Jupiter isn't coming out telling you, hey, look, I'm full of abundance, luck is on your side, make your wishes, you know, throw them out there. You, the Loas, the Odishas, the Divine Source is listening and they have been listening and a lot of things have been coming into fruition and a lot of things are starting to take shape and blossom and bloom and then there's going to be some pollination like I said, if you keep your energy thoughts and, and vibrations high and, you know, focusing on that while addressing the dark and the, the, the issues and the, the conflict. If you change your perspective on some things everything else will start to fall into alignment. You know, it's, it's all about what is it that you are picking up and what is it that you're taking home? What is it that you're digesting and processing? I say, you know, so while the earth energy has been coming through, I keep seeing these bumblebees and then this orange and I can't help but to acknowledge uh, Oshun at this time. And Oshun definitely does rock with Venus. I say, I say, I say, you know, so Oshun rocks with five. This is a five year. Uh, but don't forget this is also the year of the ox. This is also a very prosperous and fortunate and lucky time. It's just handled in, in a different way, in a different manner. There may be um, some harder opportunities uh, coming your way, Ashe, but opportunities nonetheless. You know, what you've been asking for has been coming. So maybe this is the time to fine tune, to revamp, to, to tweak um, whatever it is that you're working on, you know. Yeah, so the, the world is, is definitely um, coming through. So this is definitely in regards to where do you want to be? Where are you and where do you want to be? Where have you been and where are you now and where do you want to be? You know, dream big, dream wild, dream free. That's the energy of the Sagittarius. But Capricorn energy is definitely coming shortly, if not merging already. Um, into the fold so we're really in that tween time so what do you do in the tween time you know how do you handle um keeping yourself protected keeping yourself open acknowledging yourself your hard work that you are um a warrior you know the lady is definitely coming out this is definitely um knight energy warrior energy uh just being a woman about her word being well-rounded you know the queen of pinnacles she's very well-rounded in mind body and spirit i say i say she has grown a lot she's seen a lot she's been through a lot and these are like antlers that are coming out um of her head so it's definitely showing her growth her maturity her wisdom you know especially um in the sense of knowing when to be generous and knowing when to be reserved you know that energy of earth being practical even while you're dreaming big and even while you're um, setting the plan to, to conquer uh, the world baby even when you're making the plans to conquer the world it doesn't hurt to have some practicality it doesn't hurt to understand that you can take your time sometimes things are just unfolding slowly I say I say and I keep speaking of those retrogrades where it just everything slows down and uh, but there was a lot of challenges and there was a lot of shadow work and root work that also came along with it. Now was that time to bring it all together. Bring it all together. You need to make a decision in regards to how are you going to use your fire? What are you going to use your fire for? Orange is very bright, upbeat, zest, a zeal for life. Ashe, ashe. 
All right, so the Zodiac cards came out. Let's see what's popping. Let's see what's popping. So you have uh, 13, feminine energy. Um, again, your guardian angel or your Lawa, your Odisha, spirit god, spirit animals could be of the feminine essence, the feminine energy, Ashe. And this says dignified, and it also says strength. You know, so it's no need to engage in the the mayhem and the conflict that may come along for the ride you definitely want to you know be who you are be who you are there's a lot of strength it takes a lot of strength to be who you are especially when everyone is trying to do the same thing and be the same person or perceived um, energy to be used in a certain manner you know be strong now is not the time to give up on yourself. Now is not the time to disengage from spirit, to disengage from your hopes, dreams, goals. Is is not the time. There is a, a lot of rainbow energy uh, that is taking place here. Uh, you definitely want to focus on your third eye and crown chakra. Like I said, your higher self is definitely coming through. And this is going up uh, the ladder. You know, so that hard work that you put in, it definitely could be uh, a sign of a promotion, a sign of an upgrade, a sign of, you know, a windfall coming through. But then let's be clear, source is also coming through. So don't get so caught up in the material world. Don't let your ego run amok here. The sun represents the ego. Don't let it run amok. Um, you definitely want to make sure that it's balanced between the moon and the, and the sun, your emotions and your ego you know don't ego trip i think i mentioned earlier about not having a big head in regards to you know all of this prosperity that is definitely coming your way and for those that are legit on the other side of the spectrum and um you're going to have to re -sew, you definitely want to take these lessons learned you know for some reason i hear a call here like a judgment call here um where you're going up to seek higher counsel and then we have the rainbow so there may be some storms coming those powerful unexpected changes that you need to be expecting ashe ashe the changes that are taking place um on this earth and within the universe you know is inevitable it's just going to depend on how you're going to move and the first thing that you're being encouraged to do is definitely speak with your guardians you know give your offerings maybe Cut up some oranges. Like I said, Oshun is on the scene or any other Lawa or Isha deity that you rock with, you know, an offer. And we got oranges and we got apples here. So, you know, oranges to apples. Maybe you're comparing with the two of wands. Maybe you're splitting hairs here. You know, they're still fruit. Oranges and apples, yes, they are different, but they're still fruit. You know, so find the common ground in your situation. Find the balance in it all. And again, bring it back to center. Bring it back to your heart trust your instincts trust your gut trust the fact that you know what you know now you know you're not the same person that you were and it takes a lot of strength to walk this new path this new you to take the time to journey and explore and and navigate and and to see exactly what things um, are meant for you and what is not meant for you yeah, make that decision. Oh, I never flipped over the second card. Oh, and then we have Aquarius Energy. Yes, and that's a 2 or an 11, um, depending on how you look at it. For me, that would be a master number of 11. So, you know, 11 is definitely a, a potent, powerful um, energy that comes from source, that comes from the divine. Uh, that 2 energy is all about harmony and bringing things together. Uh, the Aquarian Energy is definitely about uh, newness, futuristicness, of uh, collaborating. Like I said, you know, maybe there's a promotion and maybe you're going to have to work with someone. Maybe you ne may need to relocate, you know. You never know um, and, until you accept what's being presented to you. You definitely have uh, a choice and a decision and some options here to make. Uh, we have the water bearer, so sharing your knowledge. You know, maybe some of us are meant to teach Maybe some of us are um, meant to tear down old paradigms and help create a new for the, the world that we're going in. This is also about the physical and the spiritual, you know. This is also, it's, it's just the dualities of it all, night and day. 
you know, giving and receiving. Like I said, it should be a even exchange with all this masculine and feminine energy coming out. We receive and we give, we receive and we give. Um, and this is where that uh, Queen of Pentacles definitely comes back into play. Like I said, she's very mature and she's very well-rounded. She now knows when to give and when to receive. Ashe, Ashe. She doesn't um, just rush into anything. She takes her time and she thinks things through. And no matter how wild and no matter how crazy her dreams are, she will create a stable, secure, practical, balanced with the freeness of it all to think and create the life that she's looking for. Ashe, the life that she feels good she deserves. And it looks like she's at peace with the decisions that she has to make. You have orange hair, orange hair, orange hair. Definitely, you know, is, is, a, is a beautiful, bright time if you choose to see it that way amidst all of the darkness. Ashe, Ashe. For those that don't know um, my cards, they do start to create a form of, of soup, as I like to say. Tarot soup, oracle soup. Ashe, Ashe. Um, so just rock. If, if it's annoying the hell out of you, I definitely understand. But this is what it is. Ashe, Ashe. And then you have the sea turtle here. And I just mentioned stability and here it is again and this is that eight and that eight definitely rocks with the as above and the so below um it definitely rocks with that in between time that that energy of reaping what you sow that energy of abundance ashe ashe so if you've been struggling financially there's about to be a shift there's about to be a change um you definitely just want to make sure that your emotions and your um your emotions and your thoughts and how you want to proceed is balanced. You know, I just think that it's so, you know, dope and creative and weird that this uh, goat has uh, a watery tail. So this could be, you know, Pisces energy, imagination, uh, creative, thinking outside of the box. You know, there's some, some, like I said, some changes going on. So there could be some, some new ideas that could be on the way through. And this is coming right along with that Aquarian energy. We are in the age of Aquarius. Uranus or Uranus, depending on how you rock, is definitely out and on the scene. You know, so it's definitely about being um, an original. Again, trendsetter is definitely coming through. Being an original this is that air element, you know, that we've been speaking of with thinking and being of the mind. Keeping your mind um, rooted to your goals, your dreams, what you have uh, going on. And when that time presents itself, maybe it doesn't even have to be you and someone outside of you. This could be you and spirit collaborating, coming up with the best plan for the greatest good of you and the overflow into the masses, Ashe. But with the sea turtle, um, this could be a long journey. With all of this earth energy that's coming out and then the sea turtle, this could definitely be a journey. This could, like I said, um, spring did pop uh, with Venus and the pomegranates. You know, then you have the roses here blooming and blossoming. It's, you're coming into your own. You're just going to have to develop some patience. You're definitely going to have to develop um, some wiggle room for nature, for uh, earth, for God to do um, his or her thing. Ashe, Ashe. The sea turtles, they take a long time to get to uh, where they need to be to deliver or to drop off their eggs and then make that journey back into the sea. And with that, there come so many challenges um, they really are uh, trusting their gut and their instincts. When the baby sea turtles hatch, they have to find their way to the ocean without the guidance or the help or the protection of uh, their parents. You know, they're totally defenseless and instinct takes over. They know exactly where to go. They know exactly what to do. And they are very aware uh, that they're on a mission. And that's their sole focus is to get back into the water. You know, so um, once you get your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions um, all on one accord and you make the decision, it's definitely going to help you in regarding uh, your goal. And by keeping 
get at the focus. That's going to be the stability for you right now with all the chaos, with all the mayhem, with everything that's taking place, the many different layers. Um, you're going to be craving a sense of stability and that goes along with that earth energy. It also goes along with the sacral, uh, the sacral chakra, you know, maybe it's your relationship is going to a different level. Um, maybe you want to be in a relationship that whole luck is on your shot, on your side, shoot your shot, you know, that took place here, uh, with the Virgo energy. You definitely want to do that, you know? A partnership could be taking place. And this is just a little baby, you know, not having a care in the world. And you have all kinds of things that is happening uh, around her. And yet here she is still getting some sleep. And that takes us right back uh, to bliss, getting some sleep. You know, so some of us, we've been doing double, triple overtime. And now it really is time for you to recharge. And maybe the best way for you to recharge is with the sun. You have the sun here. You have the sun here. This is a seven, you know. Um, so this is definitely a divine message. This is definitely coming through in regards to there needs to be um, a decision made. And in order to do that, you have to let go of the things that have been holding you back, the things that you've been thinking, seeing, and speaking. Um, you have to stop putting yourself in alignment with that, the self-doubt, the insecurities, you know, the competition. This doesn't have to be a competition. This is definitely um, an opportunity for you two to get together or you three to get together and, you know, work together for the greatest and highest good. Mm. See? And then you have High Priest and then you have the Hawk. So, yeah, this is definitely um, seeing things differently than when you have it uh, Capricorn to Venus, and then like I said, Oshun, and Oshun is a warrior, she just has a different way of accomplishing uh, the mission or the task at hand, so the high priest, your higher self, this could be, uh, maybe you need to seek counsel, maybe you need to see um, your actual priest, or your reverend, your pastor, your counselor, your therapist, your, your good Judy, you know, um, definitely want to take a look into that. And it's asking you to uh, intend and create. So this is definitely coming down to your intentions. Whatever your intentions are, you must create it. It's not just going to happen or unfold uh, accordingly. And he's wrapped in white. So there's definitely um, messages that are going in and out. This looks like there's definitely an offering being given. Um, and then the hawk. You know, having a hawk eye, keep your good eye on. Your third eye, your crown chakra, um, allowing it to, to receive everything, your subconscious. You know, this is definitely a predatory bird. And so is the, uh, so is the owl, you know. Um, the owl just works better at night. And it has the best vision. So if you're not seeing clearly, you definitely want to start looking up. You definitely want to start changing your perspective. You definitely want to start rocking with yourself and giving you the love. You definitely want to make sure that you uh, may not be where you want to be, but where you are is pretty stable. And if it's not, that's the reinforcement that is needed. You really need to make sure that you're on solid ground. It seems like a lot of people don't do well when they're not on solid footing or solid ground. Ashe. Mm, and then here we have uh, Gaia nurturing and allow her to um, share her energy with you. You know, very empathetic and understanding no matter what we do. You know, she's trying to keep herself healthy, Gaia is. You know, as you can see, the wind is definitely coming through. There's another parakeet. So, yeah, you definitely want to listen to the conversations that are happening to you see the synchronicity there are messages coming through for you um specifically through that through the spoken word here the spoken word and again there's a lot of transformations taking place there's more um antlers here uh there's some doves for purity and then also for messages so yeah there's a lot of growth and there's a lot of wisdom that is around you so if you are confused or you don't uh, necessarily trust yourself at this point you do have a, a whole group a whole team especially ones that you know are wise maybe ancient um, coming through 
uh, to guide you, to help nurture you, to help cleanse, to remind you that yes, you are um, completing tasks or you should be. Yes, you are journaling or you should be, but you may need to take a look back and see, was I kind to myself? Was I struggling with, you know, focusing? Now is the time to tighten those things up. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So Uranus, it spins a little differently. Different perspectives is what I was getting at. So maybe you've outgrown the way that you used to be able to nurture yourself. Maybe you've outgrown the way that uh, people have a way of treating you. You're now requiring uh, the proper love and care because now you see how to love or how to be loved, the type of love that you're looking for because you've been loving yourself. You've really been pouring into you. Like I said, this is really and ultimately about you and moving towards the future. And here we have, again, the dualities of it all because uh, we have Uranus and then we have Saturn. And again, I kept speaking of Saturn through uh, Capricorn energy. And these two, they're like on two totally different sides of the spectrum, but they work for the same cause. The goal is the same. You know, Saturn is very strict and, you know, likes to follow the rules and uh, believes in discipline and order. Um, and then you have Uranus who spins a little differently, you know, uh, while everybody else is going right, Uranus is definitely going left. <laughs> and the axis is totally different. So just because you're not shaped or built the same it doesn't mean that your thoughts and your ideas are wrong you could just be ahead of your time don't allow someone else to talk you out of something where everything is coming into alignment for you and be mindful some people definitely don't want good things to happen uh to good people ashe ashe quote unquote quote end quote um, good things you know some people just rock with lower vibration and some people rock with higher vibration and then some of us rock with the balance we understand the dualities um, of it all so when we see a thing we see a thing when we know a thing we know a thing and we have been working uh, for a very long time in regards to that to those balances that Gemini energy that I was speaking of um, in regards to the, the twin the two they could be you know uh, definitely coming in regards to balancing, making it harmony, harmonious, you know, blending together, collaborating. That means joining forces. You know what I'm saying? So these two, if, if Saturn and Uranus had found a way to um, cohabitate together when they see things and do things and everything is just two opposite sides of the same spectrum, you know, if, if they can work it out, if Saturn can work it out with Jupiter, you know, don't forget that Saturn and Jupiter conjunction back in December the 21st, and it's about to be a year um, since that time, what did you throw out at that time? What so, uh, what seeds did you throw out? You know, have you seen any uh, fruits of your labor come through? If not, they probably require a little bit more attention. Is not the time just yet. Uh, we have... December the 21st coming up and then we have springtime so you know just timelines take all of that to your altar ashe ashe mm, yes oh and this is the second time that I'm seeing cycles yes indeed so we have uh, the hair with all of these little rabbits including the one uh, over her head you know so again uh, this is going to be in regards to fertility. This is definitely going to be into um, paying attention to the cycles in your life, seeing uh, what cycles need to come to an end. That is really uh, the energy of the dark moon and then of the new moon as well, um, seeing what needs to be released. Are you repeating cycles um, that you shouldn't be? Or are you now noticing the cycles of the patterns of yourself? Um, and how you can utilize that that new information to create uh, fertile soil so your dreams can develop and create roots that will grow and honestly become uh, your wildest and biggest dreams. Ashe, Ashe. So the rabbit also rocks with like luck, the lucky foot. So 
here is confirmation here telling you in regards to now was a good time. Ask for it. What is it that you want? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it that you've been asking for? What is it that you need? Sorry. Bottle of water dropped. But you definitely want to, you know, ask for it. And if you saw that it just got darker, uh, the light just went out. Ashe, ashe. But yeah, this is definitely a time of healing, regenerating, um, cleansing, purifying, seeing what's going on in the mind, you know, here with the Aquarian energy, see what's going on in the mind. And then the sun rocks with Leo. So again, we have polar opposites. We have Aquarius here with its polar opposite uh, uh, Leo because Leo planet is the sun, Ashe. Ashe. So uh, being bold, being brave, being courageous. And again, uh, being the warrior, being the armadillo, knowing how to protect yourself, which goes along with having your boundaries, Ashe. But then again, you see that sun energy coming through here. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of beautiful moments uh, taking shape and taking place. Oh, wait a minute. Spirit, you better be speaking. Spirit better be coming through because here we have promise, new moon. So this is what I was saying, you know, make a wish, uh, do your rituals, say what you want, say what you desire. And come up with a game plan. Make a promise to yourself to actually see it through. To stay on your path. To be a warrior for you. To fight for what you truly want. You truly desire. For what you truly need. You know. As we are planting these seeds here. As we're planting the seeds. You know. We see the star. The star is also um, acquiring energy. So there's nothing wrong for. There's nothing wrong with hoping for a better future. There's nothing wrong with. Um planning for a better future ashe and again here's that relationship and like i was talking about i touched on it here with the solar uh, plexus oh and then look the solar plexus is definitely rocking with this solar eclipse so and then you have all this sun energy so when the sun comes from behind the moon it's going to be yo it's going to be so intense because it was shielded and protected just like the the um, the armor of the armadillo, just like the armor of the warrior. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yeah, definitely noticing that. Messages are coming through um, that, yeah, there could be a proposal, you know, with that whole collaborating energy that's coming through. It could be a proposal. Somebody could be getting engaged soon. Uh, somebody could, relationship could be going to the next level. Someone could honestly be having a baby. Ashe. Ashe, someone may honestly be birthing uh, something new. And with all of these little hairs, with all these little babies, you know, it's definitely going to be uh, abundant. It's definitely going to have an overflow. You're definitely going to have enough for you, your family, and to share uh, with others. Ashe, Ashe. You just want to make sure that you're remembering to nurture be kind to Gaia. Be kind to Earth. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to your ancestors, Odisha's, Lawas, spirit guides, Gaia. You know, wants beautiful things uh, for herself as well as you, you know. And these people are at the water. So if you're in a position where you can go near some water um, with the water bearer coming out, you know, you'll have that peace. You'll have that quiet to actually take some time to think things through, Ashe, and that promise. Whatever you're committing yourself to, they're asking you to, to make note of it, journalize it, put it on your wall, frame it, do something to help keep you uh, mindful of the promises that you've made, whether it was to you, to spirit, to your lawas, or to your, to anyone, to the person that you're going into business with, the person that you're getting into a relationship with, or maybe it's buying a house. You know, you promise to, you know, honor the payments. Read the fine print. Don't take anyone's word for anything. Read the fine print. Take a look into them contracts. Ashe. Ashe. And then here we have uh, the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is coming through with a sense of loyalty. 
you know what I'm saying? Um, being loyal to yourself. We're always trying to make sure that we're aligned to others and we're loyal to them and we hope that they're loyal to us. Well, be loyal to yourself. You know, this is also a moment of um, taking a look back, saying co you know, seeing where you were, seeing where you've been, seeing where you are now, seeing who's been rocking. Uh, again, you should know who has your best interest at heart, who's really legit down for you and who's who's faking, who's fronting, you know, they aren't truly really loyal. They're loyal to sticking around you to make sure that they keep throwing out that energy that's going to throw up blocks. But again, you are being divinely guided and you are being divinely protected and you are being divinely cloaked if necessary. You know, this also goes along with that energy of me saying that you've grown um, a whole lot. And there were a lot of emotional feelings involved every step of the way. Be grateful for the people that you still have in your life that you've been rocking with solid, you know, because in this day and age, it's, it's a little sketchy. It's, it's not, so, not so much like that. And the final card that is coming through is nobility. And nobility goes right along. I feel as though it goes right along with the uh, promise of it all. And also with the Six of Cups, you know, being noble is a beautiful thing, but you want to make sure that you're not being noble for the sake of being noble. You know, you want to make sure that you're trusting your gut. You're trusting your own instincts. You're trusting your, your mind, your heart, your spirit. You're trusting yourself. You know, uh, this could be in regards to um, your whole tribe. You know, your coven, your house, your bloodlines, because roots did come out and then the celestials also came out. You know, so this could be something telling you that you want to make sure that you're making the best decision. When it comes time for you to make that decision, which is, oh, it's about here, it's here, you know, uh, do it for the right reason. Do it for the right purpose, even if it's not um, beneficial, lucrative, or um, you don't see the fruits of your labor immediately. Uh, it's always better to, to be noble and your team is asking for you to be more so than not. Ashe. Ashe. And it's saying honor high standards and being idealistic. So those are definitely traits of um, Aquarius energy. You know, here we are with the honor. Like I said, you're being a warrior. You know, you are being acknowledged. They do hear you. They do see you. They do know that you've been doing what you're supposed to have been doing. They just want you to keep doing that. Keep doing it. You know, you're always willing to give without expecting something in return. And like I said, uh, that's when the uh, maturity of the Queen of Pentacles comes into play. And I just want y'all to see this card very well. Um... You see so many different energies. These are all energies of the chakra. And you see how, again, she has her bubble of protection and she's allowing her spirit to shine through. And that's definitely in regards to um, her solar plexus here. That's that solar plexus. So you have the sacral, you have the solar, you have the root, you have the, uh, do we have the root? A mentioned root. So yes, you do have the root. Um, you do have the the throat chakra here spend some time uh with your love things are getting really busy and things are getting really hectic speaking of the new moon with the promise with this couple um both you know arm in arm watching the sunset or watching the sunrise depending on how you want to look at it i say so this could be you know things for couples are changing and you definitely want to commit to each other every day every single day you also want to make sure that you're keeping each other protected as well as keeping yourself protected every day so at night when you're doing your prayers do your prayers for your mate your love your boyfriend your interest your girlfriend have it is that you rock ashe 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 and just know that that could be the relationship that's going to be in it for the long haul mm. take that to your altar go get counseling on that some of you are not necessarily sure if this is the right person, but they're coming in for a reason. Um, and it's 
as opposed to trying to figure out right now if they're the right or wrong person because it comes across as very new. You definitely just want to just see how things unfold. You're strong enough. You can handle that. You can. You can. Yeah, so um, the overall energy that the Lawas, the Odishas, your spirit guides, spirit animals, um, and especially your ancestors rocking with the energy of the dark moon, new moon, solar eclipse in Sagittarius. And then let's be clear that new moon energy, uh, when that little crescent comes through, that's actually considered um, the new moon, the little sliver of light. Uh, you definitely want to know that we're going into uh, the birthing canal, the birth canal right now. The full moon takes place on the 18th, so that's in about 17 days or so. Um, mm, <laughs> that's in about, you know, 17 days or so. So, yeah, uh, maybe some of us need to sign our contracts. Maybe some of us need to um, actually create a contract for our spirituality, our, our path, our goals, our missions. And, you know, really align ourselves to it. Make a promise to actually see it through. And you're be willing to be in it for the long haul. Someone may be looking for instant gratification. Like, oh, okay. Let me focus. <laughs> My bad. Um, you could be looking for instant gratification. And it's just telling you that, um, yeah, you have to remember that the last time that you put in some work, it, it took some time. There were some moments where things were happening fast. One energy is definitely out. You know, but overall, it's just going to take its time. It's just going to do what it needs to do. So in the meantime, you're still being encouraged to meditate here. Ashe. Mm. Listen. And then the message uh, from the uh, your higher self, your angels, you know, your spirit guide, your tribe. They're telling you to say that you are focused. Remember, you are focused. Stay focused on your best possible feature, uh, future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. And this is where the energy of your magical guardians, I'm asking you to unlock the magic with inside of you. They're telling you, they're rocking. Stay with it. Stay focused. You know? Don't allow people to play with your fire and don't allow them to get the best of you. Is there anything else that wants to come through? Mm, and that best possible um, outcome or the best possible energy for your relationship, that definitely screams uh, right along with Aquarius staying focused to your dreams. Um, but there's also... Hmm, there were a couple of other cards in regards to, to being focused. And they're encouraging you to make sure that you're paying attention to your cycles or the cycles of life. It's something about patterns. The cycle, a lot of cycles are coming to an end. A lot of people um, are acknowledging who they truly are, what they're truly about, what they're willing to put up with and what they're not putting up with. Yeah. There's a lot of power there. So three more came out, three more messages. The first one is 23, I am adventurous. You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love, oh, you love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, for you, life is an adventure. Uh, believe that there's uh, to be lived to the fullest. So like I said, that adventure card, uh, when I was talking about the two of wands, you don't necessarily have to leave your house, but if, you, um, if you're being called to explore in that manner in regards to traveling, again, you're getting a big heads up in regards to, yeah, you definitely want to seriously um, start making that move. Ashe. And then 88, uh, and that comes right on out on time with that eight energy where I was saying that tween time. So here we have the 88 and it's telling you that you are wealthy. You're on the cusp of prosperous and abundant uh, spiritual life. 
So everything is not just about the material gain. Uh, it's really about the, the spirituality. You're about to be very abundant in that. Um, if you're looking for money and you're getting spirituality, the shadow work question is, how do you feel about that? Ashe? Ashe, do you feel as though that you got robbed? <laughs> you got robbed. I you boo boo. But again, it's speaking of abundance and it's speaking of the physical, financial, spiritual. It's all the sides of it. And then here's that too. Be diplomatic. I am diplomatic. You have a great talent for finding solutions. You are intuitive and unbiased, uh, which allows you to see all sides of a situation and to advise others towards the most fair and uh, beneficial outcome. Yeah, definitely. That's that duality. That's that two energy of the Aquarian energy that it came out before. And if you're not noticing the patterns that there are already doubles out here, two and two, 88, 77, uh, 12, 12 is also out here. Ashe, Ashe. Mm. And then it says, <laughs> yo, this is funny. And then it says, you are open-minded and always up to try something new. Yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things and then I just say all of that this pragmatic approach helps ensure your time attention and efforts are meaningful huh? purposeful and meaningful they want you to know that you are practical be practical in everything that you are doing right now you know um, even if you are flying by the city of your pants have a game plan See it through from beginning to end. Ashe, Ashe, Ayi, Bo, Bo, Ashe, Yo. Yeah, so you may need to change your perspective on things right now. You may want to sit and meditate and allow what needs to come from the subconscious to the conscious. Ashe, Ashe. Remember your roots. Some of us may need to do some studying. Some of us may need to, you know, take a class or get a refreshers course, let that RE come through. Remember why you're here, why you're doing what you're doing. You're not lost. It's all within. Yeah, your vision is definitely going to be clear now because the veil is down. And if, like I said, if you want to see, you will see. And all you have to do is do your rituals, do your invocations, pay attention, get your breathing in, stay suited in Buddha, stay protected, stay ready to you and got to get ready, baby. Big. And if you're not having the night that you want to have or the day that you want to have or living the life that you want to have, you want to change that shit, baby. Change it, change it, change it, change that shit. As above, so below. As within, so without. So more to be times three. Ashe, ashe, ayi, bo, bo. Ashe, your family. Yes. Virgo energy is still on the scene. High Priestess is still on the scene. That's another two. That's still uh, the dualities of it all. But now that is two, two, two. Ashe. Ashe. And you have 33 here in the master number of 12, 12. You have those harder possibilities that I've been talking about with the five energy of Oshun. And then you have the balance and the dualities coming through here with all of this earth energy, earth, air, water, fire, and spirit. Make sure that everyone is on total alignment and utilizing the energy of this perfect alignment between the sun and the moon masculine and feminine energy ashe ashe ayi bo bo ashe yo please feel free to like subscribe smash that bell um say something in the comments let's chop it up let's you know let's start developing a rapport i'm willing to collaborate uh with my warriors of amethyst and clover ashe ashe ayi bo bo ashe yo Peace.